in today's episode, I'm going to talk about the documents you should prepare in order to apply to KAIST. I'm going to also give my own tips. And I hope if you want to understand something or you have any more questions, you can ask them in the comments. So keep on watching. Thing number one, it's application form. This is the form you will have to fill before even applying per se because it also creates your own account in the applying system. So you should just fill the basic data like name, date of birth, um, fields of interest and uh, at the end there will be essays in the form of answering the questions they will ask you. Thing number two, recommendation letter. In the application form, you will have to fill your teacher's name and your teacher's email. Then he will get an email and can fill your recommendation letter. You can check how the recommendation letter in KS looks like on their files on the application page uh, because it's quite different from normal recommendation letter. Uh, yeah, and you can show it to your teacher and I don't know, give him translation of the um, form you have online. Maybe it will help them if they don't speak English well. In my case, there are two tips I will want to share. First, if your teacher doesn't speak English, you can ask your English teacher for help. Second, you can agree with your teacher to some extent of helping them in preparing your um, recommendation letter, like translating or um, helping them prepare generally. Like It's up to your teacher actually and it's good to talk to them they will for sure try to uh, find an answer to that. Thing number three is high school profile. In this case, it was hard for me as my school doesn't have a profile, especially in English. So I just did a research online and kind of went for it. So right now I can tell you like tips how to prepare your own high school profile. It's putting name, address, and contact to your school. This is the basic information. Secondly, number of students, subjects, levels, profiles, exams, and grading system. And this is actually all they need like to know your school exists, how it works. I think that's the thing you can do. It's like one page A4. It's not that much and it's not hard. If you're from my school, actually, you can ask me, I can send you. Thing number four. High school transcript. If you don't want to translate your transcript at the sworn translator, you can do what I did. I just prepared the grade report by my own with the grades from first grade of high school and second grade of high school and also predicted grades from national exam approved by my teachers and went to the office of the school and got a stamp from the school and signed from the director headmaster of my school yeah so it's a tip because you can spare money on that yeah thing number five it's official test report in my case it was sat but uh, kais gives a lot of freedom in this case so you can submit any kind of test you took kind of for example you can submit sat you don't have to worry like if you should submit the official SAT or the subject SAT. For example, my friend submitted only subject SAT. And also, please do not stress out about your grades because that's not the most important uh, part of your application. I can tell you from my own experience. Uh, also, you can submit your national exam grades or, as I did, predicted grades except for SAT. I submitted predicted grades from my national exam. I just talked to my teachers, I looked at the statistics, and then I prepared the document and I submitted this. And also to this you should explain how this national exam in your country looks like. Uh, at most two A4 pages if I remember correctly. So I think that's something you can do. And it doesn't cost you much if you care about applying. Yeah. Thing number six. It's English profici proficiency test. English proficiency test. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 
this is the only thing that Kais does not give much freedom about. It is um, English test, which should be Tofu, Toik, or Ilts, if I pronounce it correctly. Okay, so I don't know about Cambridge test because I got a lot, a lot of questions about it. Can you submit a Cambridge test? And I don't know about it. Um, I think you should write to Kais yourself. Uh, but for sure, Toik, Tofu, Yelts is acceptable. And I think they have uh, on their page the, gr the grade of those exams that you should achieve. And it's not really high. If I remember correctly from Tofu, it's the least 83 points. So that's quite nice, actually. Thing number seven. It's scan of passport or national ID. <laughs> I remember I submitted national ID and they asked me to scan passport, so maybe it's better to scan passport from the beginning. It's just for identity purposes, I guess. Thing number eight, and here will come another tip about it. Uh, it's financial statement. Uh, in this case, I had to submit my parents because I'm not a person that lives on their own. So I submitted both of my parents' financial statement. Uh, when it comes to my father, I had their uh, tax return. And if, when it comes to my mother, I had a financial statement per se. So uh, tax return has many, 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 many pages. And you should have, to have it sworn translated. And the thing is that you can go to the translator and talk with him. Like, I just need how much my father earns per year. And they will not translate all 20 pages, then they will just prefer a shortened version of translation. At least this was my case. And it was much cheaper, right? And in terms of my mom, it was easier because it was just one paper from her job about how much does she earn per, per year. Yeah, And uh, that's exactly what you should actually submit. Thing number nine. It's extra. It's called awards. <laughs> can just submit any awards you have, but they also should be sworn and translated into English. In my case, it was just a um, Junior Informatic Olympiad uh, statement uh, from my middle school. Yeah, So it's actually up to you. If you have anything that you want to share, anything, it can be highly advantageous to you, advantageous to you, then go for it. <laughs> Actually, in the background, it's industrial design building, and I'm gonna study there, I think, either a minor or maybe major, but for sure minor. It's very nice. Okay, just me being excited. Okay. So, uh, yeah. leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscription, leave a message on anywhere you want questions, interactions, <laughs> feel free. Really, don't, don't, don't feel like you're bothering me anymore. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.